Okay. I see someone else new on there. Okay. Hey guys. Um, I'm on the uh, live feed right now. And uh, I'm still, we're still doing our social club event. What is that? Hi, I'm the president. Hi there. So, hi. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just going to show you my laptop here. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> so, they're all saying hi. Hi. So, Alice has joined uh, Art Club. And our assignment for today is that we are just sketching each other's faces. And, um, yeah. <laughs> It's been, uh, it's good practice. It's been a while since I've sketched. So, um, like, I did this one of Chris. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> so, I got the little earring. I gave him, like, an Aztec Mayan vibe. <laughs> um, this one is Professor Jen Rose. She teaches uh, ceramics. So, that one was mine. And then I was just starting months. Um, she was wearing, a, like, a trucker hat and her hair. So there you go. So um, if for those of you that have never taken a live art class, you definitely need to take it with Professor Marion LaFell. She is wonderful and uh, is from Venezuela. So I've known her, gosh, how many years has it been now? It's been seven years. Seven years, wow. And Professor LaFell and I, we went on a trip, what, two years ago to Vietnam. We got a, uh, like a Fulbright and it was what, 10? 12 of us professors and we we went from one end of Vietnam to the other to learn more about the culture and I mean we went to museums and uh, Marion is my spirit animal in terms of shopping <laughs> I could not keep up with her <laughs> I thought I could shop no nope. uh, and we had a lot of fun and um, I think one of my favorite things now Marion when I travel or I go anywhere is I always take a sketchbook and I just try and sketch to capture a memory more so than using my uh, camera. Mm -hmm. So I, I started doing that um, when I went when they had the Dior exhibit here about a year or two ago. Yeah. I took I took a little sketchbook and I just stood there and was sketching these beautiful dresses and that experience to me was much more engaging than if I had just taken my camera or if I had just walked by them to actually sit there and really stare at a piece and look at it and sketch it. So, oh, there's Mons. She came back. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. My phone ran out of battery and my computer's not working. The FaceTime thing, I tried it several times. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Did you um, see the sketch I did of you a minute ago? I got you, I got your hat. I got you that far. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so, I yeah. I did, um... I did Daphne. Oh, I love it. I'm not good at drawing oh, eyes, so I just oh left the play. Very nice. Oh, I know. So. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to draw eyes that well, so I just left those out. Yeah, I'm, I always see those last. You look dope with my glasses. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just what we're doing. I just wanted to jump on here for those of you that were not able to join the Zoom, but I think we definitely want to keep doing this with um, the art club. So you guys do it every Tuesday at 1? Yes, okay. every Tuesday at 1. And it's, you know, rather informal. Again, guys, we're, we're just trying to kind of take a, a deep breath. Mm. And, you know, continue on. It's like checking in. We spend one hour together. We, you know, talk about art. We discuss artists or, you know, we, we actually doodle or paint. Um, most of us are, you know, have our little space to draw or to improvise. It doesn't matter. You don't, you know. Also, in terms of materials, anything works. Really, we're not, you know, there's not a list of supplies you have to come with, come up with, or anything like that. So the idea is just to, yeah, just take a deep breath and recharge the batteries, and then continue on. Yeah, absolutely. So. So yeah, so I think we'll we'll probably keep doing that. We're going to plan to do our social events, I think, on Tuesdays. And I think next Tuesday, I was talking to German. We might do, I think, Lotteria. I think there's a way that we can do Lotteria. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we draw Lotteria uh, images? Oh, I love that. I've been lo wanting yeah. to do that. The mano, the heart, the la Yes, because I have all these little mini canvases that I got from the dollar store. Ooh, nice. And I've been wanting 
to do that. And it's funny that you say that because I have a whole box of lottery cards that I cut up from a giant one that I was going to do maybe a collaging or something. And of course, they're all upside down. So there you go. So yeah, why don't we definitely plan to do that? And then Sonia's the one that said there is a millennial Lotteria. Yeah, there's <laughs> millennial version. I need to. It's on Amazon. I need to order it. I'm curious to see what those look like. Oh, this one. This is my brother, Katrine. My mom always calls him Katrine. He's very fancy. He's very particular. So. Millennial Lotteria. Yeah, on Amazon, I'm going to have to order it, take a look at it. Is that the one that has the Selena ones on it? What? I think I so. I need that in my life. Exactly. <laughs> well, and if you look on Pinterest, people make up their own version. Like, there's a Frida one, uh, there's a Donald Trump one. <laughs> yes. so. Oh, my gosh. I need that in my life. Yeah. So, those of you that are not on the Zoom, but just out there, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope... You're finding some time, like we are, just to take a break, take a breather. Um, in the LS chat this morning, I woke up and there's like 70 messages, and I'm like, "What's going on?" And I can tell, I can feel the uh, kind of the stress. And we were just talking about on here how everyone's just a little bit behind, and I am in the same boat. I am still catching up on grades. Um, so I think we all have to give ourselves just a little bit of grace and be a little bit patient with ourselves and with our professors. And if you're a little behind, I think that's fine. I just don't let it get so, so far that you can't recover. I think we're all just trying to find that pace. And I know like some of you have that one class that is just really challenging. Um, and I'm sure you're trying to give more of your energy to that, but keep in mind to balance everything and take a break if it's becoming too much of a challenge take a break work on something easier maybe get that out of the way first and then go back to it so um yeah i, I can certainly understand um that's why you know i was trying to record my lectures because as we mentioned for me to do a zoom with 80 students there's no way i could have done it and i was loving recording my lectures but it takes it took me two days just to do a one 50 minute lecture uh, because, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I want to say and w does everything have captions and I realized I was just going to spend endless hours and I finally just had to bite that bullet because I realized doing these live feeds is more important right now. Having actual connection to you is more important than a PowerPoint, you know, so, um, so that's kind of where we're all at, so. That's the kind of emotional support that I'm here for. Yes, exactly. And I think we all need it. And I, I'm more worried about my students that I've seen that have turned in no work in the last three weeks and I haven't heard from them and I'm trying to reach out. Um, those are the ones that I'm like, I hope they're okay. Because I know for a lot of you guys, the jobs you have are probably the jobs that are, you know, have been furloughed or have been laid off. So I can only imagine, you know, you're trying to balance... Um, paying bills, dealing with kids, and then on top of that, do schoolwork, so. Well, I think this is just, it's, it's global. Mm -hmm. There's no one, I mean, unless you're living in complete isolation on a cabin, you know, no <laughs> one uh, that has not been affected. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, it's a, you know, we're, we're all in this, whether, mm -hmm. you know, you're furloughed or, you know, laid off from work or, you know, just finding this, this space to kind of think about something else for a moment. Exactly. Just, exactly. Just, you know, and then I have to go back to Brady. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> well, I just, I, I <laughs> well, I graded for two hours today, so I consider that a win. So I can take a healthy long break right now. And, but then, yes, I have to go back. Um, well, I'm actually at work, and it's like kind of stressing being here because people don't come in, and it's just boring all day. Oh, what do you, you do for your job? You don't get to see people as much as you thought that are outside, and then going home and being isolated again, it's just like so stressful. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing I, for your job, Lupita? Uh, I'm a leasing agent in an uh, apartment complex. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we're not the lucky ones that got close. <laughs> <laughs> but people are like, you should be thankful that you have a job and you you know you're going. But it's kind of like stressing because when I go home and I'm just like, oh, don't 
don't touch me. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> She's like all like she's actually she doesn't go out of nowhere. And it's just kinda of like, oh my god, you should be lucky. <laughs> oh, and the thing is, it's not like you're not. It's not like you're ungrateful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it, that doesn't mean that you don't have challenges as well. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you have the right to feel what you're feeling. Exactly. Um you're you're also adjusting to a new normal and a new way of just trying to cope you know so. well this is fantastic that you're you know you're here with us even if you're at work right now hey no yeah <laughs> <laughs> all righty so yeah i love everyone's waving everyone that is online so we're all just kind of commiserating about how we're dealing with all this and the isolation and some of us are working and some of us are not and even if we are working the dynamic is different absolutely and um yeah, I think we're all just trying to take a moment day by day. And so for us, that's why we're doing some sketching, just trying to get a handle on things. Um, oh, Mary, I wanted to show you, this is a project I started on over the break when I was sick. Um, I started doing where you take a, a magazine picture and you do the grid, you know? Yeah. Because uh, I've still, I really struggle with my proportions still. So this helps me a lot. So, um, is that car ladder film? It is, it is. So, this was my first one, and you can tell I still kind of struggling on the proportion just a little bit. Let me see the, the, the source image. I think it's pretty good, though. I think the glasses need bit. to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, so I'm so, and I've learned, um, and I think maybe I learned this from you if you do something in succession more than once, the same image you figure things out so I got halfway through my second one I'm gonna go back and yeah I think I definitely started doing a little bit better with the glasses and the hand absolutely so, nothing like working in series. So you can see there so absolutely <laughs> wait you draw well I I don't say I draw draw I just kind of do free form sketching I actually prefer to sketch when I travel I always take a little sketchbook with me uh, when I, and I started that when I went to Paris and stayed there for a summer and I'd go to my favorite park and I'd get an ice cream and I'd sit there and I'd just would find small things to sketch. Um, but yeah, I still struggle with getting proportion and you know, if I can trace it, I always would rather trace it, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, but I, I think you're crafty. You're always crafty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I like crafting too. I just like trying everything, just different things. And I think once I gave myself permission to realize that I can make ugly art and it's going to be horrible and it's going to be terrible, you know, who's judging me other than myself? Um, that seems to have helped me just kind of just keep to keep going and keep trying. One thing that so. uh, kind of it helps me when I'm when I'm you know to kind of change mm-hmm. that mindset. I always think that I am the worst critic. Mm-hmm. So if I think that what I do is the worst thing that can happen <laughs> on this planet, <laughs> then I feel like, okay, well, maybe other people won't think the same way. So mm-hmm. it's okay. Yeah, It's okay to, to make mistakes. And that's how we learned, actually. Exactly. And, and, you know, it's about also being vulnerable and being, um, you know, it's, it's almost like sometimes when I'm trying to explain what, Courage is. Courage has a great deal of vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we've been talking about that. And uh, Brene Brown has been talking a lot about that on her TED Talks and stuff. And Okay. I've heard so much about her, and I don't know who she is. Oh, Do my have- gosh. Yeah, so I'll send you her TED Talk. So she did a local TEDx talk that went viral. And it's she's uh, a researcher, and she's from she's from Austin. She has a house on Lake Travis. And she talks about this notion of vulnerability and that anybody that's ever done anything significant has had to, you know, really kind of open themselves up to take risks. And and she gives this one analogy that helps her because she's just like we are. We hate criticism. We hate, you know, we hate people to say things. And like, for example, I try not to look at my comments that are made on YouTube or um, like, uh, rate my professor. I don't look at that anymore because I, I can't handle the negative. 
and she made a point of addressing, you know, the, the only one that has the right to criticize you really are the people that have actually been in the ring trying the things that you're trying, right? It's easy to stand on the sidelines and make a comment or throw some shade and be negative, but they're doing it from the, from the safety of, of a stadium seat. You know, they're not down on the arena fighting the good fight and putting themselves out there, you know. So. Right. Well, it's funny because I had a bit of a meltdown yesterday with Rape My Professor. Oh, that's why I don't look at it <laughs> for that reason. <laughs> Evo was there. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was pretty brutal what oh, no. was written about me. And, and so, I mean, I just felt like it was so unfair. Yeah. But there's only so much I can do, right? Exactly, exactly. And um, one of my adult students, she's like, yeah, I looked at your profile, but I also look at the ones that really complain a lot are the outliers. And she, you, you have to look at what the majority are saying, that there's always going to be someone that's, you know, oh, it's too much work, or she gives too much assignments, or she goes on and on about something and I don't get it. You know, I, I can't, I can't make everybody happy. And as much as I want to, it's just not going right. to, it's just not going to happen. So, uh, you know what, I just, and I, I haven't been in that website forever. <laughs> and I had a student who said, oh, I want to write a, a, write my professor review on your behalf, blah, 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 from an online class that I had just finished. I was like, hmm, I'm curious now. Let me look. Oh, no, no. Don't do it with a trap. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh you should have had someone else look for you and just only tell you the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's what I ask my students. Like, just report back. If it's really bad, I don't want to know. But if it's good, great. I mean, it's pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. I don't want to. I don't want to ever want to go in there. But at the same time, I mean, you guys, you guys read those reviews, right? In order to get classes. I mean, Sometimes. Some do. Um time i'll ask for like actual like if i feel like someone has the same level of integrity with academics that i do then i will definitely ask people for their mm -hmm. professor reviews personally and go by that more often than i will by rate my professor or anything yeah okay that makes sense yeah and it depends what you're looking for because if the if it says on there oh it's an easy a well does that mean it's uh, the quality of the work or you just want an easy A so you can be on your way uh, and not have to actually try, you know. That's true. So, so if, there, if there's stuff out there about my stuff is too hard and it's too much work, well, I don't want the student that just wants the easy A then, you know. Please, go find someone else. Right. So. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes so. a lot of sense. Oh, and what? Where are you connecting with the rest of the class? Who me? For me personally? Oh. I mean, I'm sorry, Michelle. Where? How are you connecting through? You know, your uh, Alice group. Is it Instagram? What are you using? Um, that, and we also have a private WhatsApp chat for the more current members. Oh, that's um, nice. We used to use um, group. It was in a, there was another app that's similar, but we have, because we have students with international phone numbers, uh, yeah, WhatsApp is easier. GroupMe. Group me, that's what it was. Yeah, we were on GroupMe forever, but then we realized some students, because like um, my phone will work in Mexico. They have a very similar plan, so a lot of students from other countries are not going to change their phone. Right. So we realized it was easier to do WhatsApp. Uh, and so we're on that pretty pretty daily, just with reminders, and then like if people are, have concerns or questions. And right now, when you were talking to the Alice, me, uh, I mean, uh, members who were talking on, was it Instagram? Yeah, I'm on. It? I'm on right now. I'm on the. I'm on the live feed. Oh. Yeah. Let me, let me get in. So yeah, and then uh, usually I save the recordings and then I post them to our YouTube channel because not everyone can be on here at two o'clock, but want it's really to. Nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So that you know you don't have the pressure of I have to be there at two o'clock. Um, you can watch it later. So, and not everyone wants to be visually on a Zoom, and so uh, I have I've I've find the Instagram is pretty good. Uh, apparently, uh, Facebook is for old people. I did not know that. 
<laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I would have done Facebook Live, but um, apparently that's not hip anymore. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so we've been having fun. We've been doing it, what, four weeks now? Oh, we've, wow. we've been meeting at least five times a week. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah, and we're kind yeah, of... Okay. What? There's a bit of a delay. Yes, there is. There is. Yeah, it takes okay. me a minute when I see comments. I have to wait a minute. So um, do I have to send a... I just send a, sent a request because I wanted to oh. send a, a little uh, emoji. I didn't know if I had to... If you want to go live with me, we it splits the screen. Now, the only problem is if we do that, sometimes it will kick us off. Oh, no, no, no. no okay. Oh, it's that. fine. I no, no, gonna... you can text me in real time, and you can send me a little heart. You can send me a little sticker. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's that's how I field questions, which is nice. Um, so, like, if you wanted to do a demo through Art Club and actually teach a technique, like, I watch these craft... Um, Oh my gosh. So Marion, there is a group called uh, Crafty Chica. She is a phenomenal crafting artist and they do craft night Thursdays. So each artist she selects, they take 15 minutes, they do a quick demo and then you jump onto the other person's live feed and then you jump onto the next person. So that's how you kind of cross promote other artists and you get to see them do quick tutorials. And if you want to pose a question, if you want to make a comment and it's, it's fascinating and I love it. And I'm looking it up right now. I love the whipped coffee tutorial. Latin yes. Style. I mean, all hers. And she's on YouTube. I mean, you talk about a, a thoughtful, well-placed artist with her website, with her blogging. She has a craft store online. She does personal speaking engagements. Um, and she does lovely stuff that celebrate Latinx culture. And so I have just really been enjoying everything she's been doing. And then she has other, well, there's another one called Tu Madre Crafts. <laughs> <laughs> she she is funny she's a little bit dirtier um but she speaks to my my soul in terms of like chingona um <laughs> aspect uh, <laughs> so yeah so for me just checking out all those live feeds and then they stay on your stories for 24 hours so if i missed any of the craft net i can go back and watch them and then they post them on their youtube channels so yeah so if you wanted to do a tutorial or if you wanted to showcase like your specific work that you're doing, you could do a live uh, check-in and, and do that. So, yeah. <laughs> that is too funny. I like that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it looks like um, what time so What time is your, your uh, and by the way, you guys are welcome to stay here if I have to leave it out. I have to, have to, have to start grading or else I'm going to be here until midnight. Okay. Um, I just do my check-ins 20 to 40 minutes, so I can I can log off this at any time. I just wanted to show the people that did not join us today um, what we're doing. So hopefully next, next Tuesday we'll plan to start with the art club and maybe we'll do some Loteria art. Okay. And then maybe we just transition to playing Loteria. We could just stay on the same feed. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is that? That. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, oh, that's gorgeous. Is, is that me? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You have to send me a copy of that. Y'all are so good. I just want to get hang of this program. I love it. Oh, that's gorgeous. You need to send me that one. Yeah. Yeah, the Beavis and Butthead is so funny. Who did Beavis and Butthead? I love it. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys show up your pictures one more time. Let me show the uh, live feed. Oh, okay. Show sure. them real quick. Oh. Here, actually, let me go to the bigger screen. Okay, so, all right, real quick, everyone show one at a time. Oops. I don't think it's showing. No. Okay, I took a picture. There you I'll go. Oh, babies and butt. Chris, that looks so good. Oh, perfect. Pull back on your mount a little bit. <laughs> that me? <laughs> cool. I love it. Daphne, show yours again. Okay, hold on. There you go. Let's see. I may have to post it. It's hard. It's not coming through. Oh, I can see it on the live feed. That's can so you? cool. Isn't that funny? <laughs> this is great. 
great. I yeah. love that you're posting each one. I know. I love it. Well, this was so fun. Thank you, you guys. I needed this. I, I was feeling blocked. <laughs> I still think my favorite is uh, my Chris one. <laughs> yes. I'm going to make you an Aztec warrior, Chris. Okay. You should post those on the WhatsApp. I should. Yes. I will. I'll keep working on Chris's. So. Bye, guys. We'll, right. we'll definitely do it again on Tuesday. Wonderful. And We'd love to. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Okay. Hey, Take care, you guys. Hey guys. Nice seeing you all again. Yeah. Or for the first time. Yes. Yeah, nice. I know. I've been, I've been so busy, but we'll chat soon. Thank you so much. We'll later. chat soon. Yeah. And thank you. <laughs> Class tomorrow. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So. All Bye, right. Guys. Hey guys. So I'm going to sign off on the live feed as well. I know some of you just joined, but I'll post the video here if you're curious to see what we did with the Zoom. And again, we're just exploring new options, new opportunities. And so if you feel like you need a break, you know, just go and sketch something in your house, something very simple. You'd be amazed 10, 15 minutes and you just, you feel kind of refreshed. And so I just hope everyone is staying uh, safe and healthy. And um, it's almost my cocktail hour, so <laughs> I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> we, we have brought back the four o'clock cocktail hour at my house, so. Um, that's also alcoholic and non-alcoholic uh, snacks and cocktails. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna sign off here. Okay. And very.